I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but I hear wolves. It is brutally cold. Hey guys, what's up? Justin Van Flurry here. I'm out here with a couple buddies. We got Tyler Wood Bushcraft here. And Roland Olmstead. And this is our seven day extreme winter challenge, Northern Wisconsin. This Extreme Winter Challenge series is brought to you by Wanderlust Outfitters, Infusco Coffee, and Black and White Fire Starter. Check out the link in the description for more. You're not going to want to miss this entire series, not just because it's so awesome, but because I've got a huge giveaway that it will be announcing at the end of the series. So you need to watch every episode, you need to comment in every episode, and most of all, you need to subscribe to this channel. But don't just subscribe to this channel. Go check out Tyler Wood Bushcraft, who is out there with me, and Rolling Homestead. Check them out. Check this entire series out. It is going to be one heck of an adventure. Let there be light. Oh, it's bright. Oh. Well, it's day three, and uh, today is shelter day. I'm going to focus in on my shelter, get that going. I got a couple of camp chores to do first thing here in the morning, but I um, really should have a door on here, but I think the wind shifted last night. It's definitely a lot cooler. <sighs> I can't really hear anything outside. I have no idea if the guys are up and around. All right, time for me to get up and at them. <clears throat> yeah. Definitely below zero last night. But uh, in here it still stayed slightly warm. I guess I don't need that for now. All right, time to get my boots on. Oh yeah. Whew. All right. That's it guys. Time to get out of here. Oh, he beat me up again. Two days in a row. One of these days I got to Show him I can actually start a fire. Look at this guy. Man. 
How'd you sleep? Oh, that was bad. How's that? That's <laughs> pretty blood brutal. In the process. Oh no. That's brutal. Yeah. Oh. It's chilly out here this morning. I usually have a pretty high pain tolerance with my my hands, but just taking them out of my gloves is brutal. So I, I feel your pain. All right. Uh, time for some uh, Infusco coffee. Ethiopian Yerga Chef this morning. It's just cold this morning. One down, two to go. Spilling of the precious bean. That's not good. Beautiful shot. Mm. It's a cold one, huh? Yeah. You need to get up and get moving, that's what I... I should go get some firewood while I'm waiting for that. That's what I'll do. All right, that never gets old, does it? <laughs> All right, let's go get some firewood. Got some wood, we cut it up yesterday. <clears throat> We're just too tired to drag it back to camp. So, I uh, feel like I'm warming up. Might have to shed a layer or two. <laughs> That's the goal when you're outside. Think the coffee's done? Yeah. Hot and 
brew is some of the best coffee I've ever had. Oh yeah. Thanks to Confusco. Oh. Nothing like coffee in the woods in the morning. With the smoke in your face. Stopped snoring right when I opened the door. Oh, he was sawing logs pretty good. He has cashed out. Tyler and I are up enjoying the beautiful sunshine, the crisp winter weather. Don't you wish you were here? Some of you do, some of you just think we're playing crazy. You're right. You are absolutely right. No doubt in my mind I'm crazy. And I'm pretty sure Tyler's crazy too. He might be a little more crazy than I am. Alright guys, I gotta sneak over here. Big shout out to Infusco. <laughs> They're trying to catch a snoring, Mark. You were sawing logs. I thought for sure there'd be lots of firewood in there. <laughs> yeah, I was sawing logs till 11 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, today it's going to be a high of eight. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a heat wave today. <laughs> Man, every time I think, I just uh, went and got all that wood and uh, thought, man, I need to shed some layers. And I sat back down, I'm like, no, nah, I don't need to shed any layers. <laughs> How'd you sleep? Yep. Gold, gold, gold. <laughs> I woke up shaking so bad. Start building a shelter. I think I gotta go. Oh, I think I gotta go back in here where it's a lot thicker. Those ones are nice, but I wanna let them grow. There's one that's in here. I want one that's alive so it'll last a little longer. But I also want one that is, uh, I don't know, one that's being choked out anyway. I think I found one. There's two right next to each other. Perfect.
Easier said than done. Maybe I can turn it around. Now. One down. All right, guys. Well, it's about 10 o'clock. The last couple hours, we've just been trying to get uh, get Tyler warmed up. He is pretty bad off. You're going to have to go check out his channel to see what's going on. Um, he'll survive. He'll be all right. But uh, it, was, uh, it was pretty brutal last night. Don't let the sun shine and deceive you right now. Uh, it is well below zero. Um, I don't have any thermometer out here. I'm not even sure what the temperature is. But, man... It, it's just, I take my gloves off, I, even even when I've been working, you know, and take my gloves off, and it's like, you gotta, gotta get them back on. But, but I got this camera, and I gotta be able to touch the screen. So it's a, just a constant process of uh, gloves on and off, and um, it, is, uh, it is chilly today. Beautiful day, sun is shining, but uh, it is... It is brutally cold, and uh, Tyler's doing the Walmart Survival Challenge, and he's just not been using the appropriate gear, and uh, so we literally have spent the last couple out, couple hours trying to warm him up and uh, get him to the point where he can uh, can function. And so he's uh, he's uh, he's hunkering down and and staying staying warm for the time being. Uh, but check out his channel, Tyler Wood Bushcraft, if you want to see the details. Uh, let him explain to you what's going on. So, all right, I'm uh, I'm back out here though. I'm gonna start uh, or uh, continue dragging stuff up for my shelter. shelter. I didn't realize it was still empty or full. Yeah, that was Mark's Christmas. But you still haven't ate yet, have you? Never thought I'd give myself a black eye from a raspberry bush.
this is definitely brutal. I, uh, it's, it's up there with, uh, with some of the coldest temperatures I've ever camped in, I would say right now. It's, it's deceiving. Like I, I'm working, I'm still in a, in a down jacket covering my ears and it's just, yeah. Yeah, but I've been, I'm not, I'm not actually working and look at this. I know, just breathing, just, just breathing. breathing, you uh, frost up your beard. And... The worst is when uh, when this part freezes to this part and you got to talk <laughs> and it's like pulls your hair out. Yeah. I don't know, I kind of like the feeling because I know it looks manly, but. <laughs> no pain, no glory, right? What about that? Seeing goes if you think you got enough, get twice that much. All right, next two items on the agenda. Camouflage tarp so you can't see me. Bank line. Time to start building. This is exciting. Oh, that means I have to take my gloves off.
gotta dig it out. Yeah. So the wall, the wall is actually gonna go, the tarp is gonna go past the wall. So above my sleeping area, there'll be a draft to hopefully push the, but the smoke, that's, in, that's a theory anyways. Oh. Well, there she is so far. Not too shabby. I just need to uh, start hauling wood again, build up the sides, and then uh, build up the front. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for tonight. My other camera just died, so I'm on my back up. Uh, got dark really quickly, trying to clean up camp, trying to go around and and uh, get everything picked up. And it is, uh, it's time to hunker down. It's gonna be chilly. It's gonna be a long, long night. One more night in my Quincy. I don't know if you can see it. One more night in there because my other shelter is partially done, but not enough to keep the cold out. So one more night in the good old Quincy. And, uh, and then I'll head over, pull all my stuff into that that you can barely see. 
It is freezing cold out here. It's got to be minus 20. And uh, <laughs> look what I got to do. So this is not ideal. This is not super exciting. Oh, I want to get off the path so I don't step in it, right? Nobody else steps in it. Oh, my hands are freezing just uh, holding the camera. So this is perfect. All right. I see a uh, branch I can lean up against. Oh, my word. Okay, wish me luck. Oh. All right, well, I'll be honest. Everything came out all right. A little too good. Anyway, all is good. I'm on my way back to the shelter. I just got in, got snuggled, getting ready to do my uh, my good night to you all. And uh, then I'm like, oh, this is not good. You know how you have to make a beeline, and you got to go right now. So that's what I did. All right, I'm going to bed. It's not so bad when you're sitting right by the fire stays pretty warm but uh man as soon as you get away from the fire uh we had a nice raging fire <sighs> yeah well you saw what i just had to do i think i got frostbite on my rear end This little system has worked out pretty good. <laughs> Got a little system for getting all my gear off and in place so it doesn't get lost. I cannot tell you how happy I am with a sleeping bag. 20 degree cat's meow extreme rating of negative seven and uh it's negative 20 tonight but i'm inside the most insulated spot i could possibly be in so i'm not worried but i do anticipate my toes getting cold tonight i anticipated being a little chilly uh it's just par for the course. No pain, no glory, right? <laughs> I there's part of me that just loves this uh this you know just a little bit of suffering. I it sounds weird and it sounds twisted when I say it, but I love I, I don't think it's the suffering I love. I think I love pushing my body to its limits just to see what I could endure, what I could sustain. So, hence I'm in an igloo, negative 20 degrees. It's not an igloo, it's a Quincy, but yeah. My only bedding source is pine boughs, and they have done the trick. I mean, I'm. it's only a couple inches now that they're all compressed down and they're kind of spreading out. They're kind of falling off the edge a little bit, but they'll give me one more night. Hopefully this is the last night, and then I head over into the permanent shelter. I've got a lot of work to do to button that up, but I, if it would have been warmer tonight, I would have I, I would have actually gone over there, but with it being this cold, this is uh, I just, I know, I know what this is going to do tonight, so. <sighs> Man, I was falling asleep at the fire. And then <laughs> you have to run and take a dump. And then you try and warm up, and now I'm wide awake. I've run out of things to say, so. Well, I'm here with Tyler Wood Bushcraft and Mark with Rolling Homestead, Wild Edibles. Three of us are out doing this uh, seven-day extreme winter survival challenge in northern Wisconsin. 
and uh, you're gonna have to watch uh, watch the other guys' channels. There's some interesting footage that they captured today, and some uh, some some things happen. And I don't want to let the cat out of the bag too much. I want to let you watch their channels. So uh, when this is uh, when this is done, head over there. Check out Rolling Homestead and uh, Tyler Wood Bushcraft. Both their channels are linked in the description. Adios. Have a good night, and we'll see you for day four.